I just got my hair done, and uh, I don't have my pretty costume on yet because it ain't time to go, but I thought I'd show you how I put my makeup on. Uh, first thing I do is you, I got my, my makeup kit right here, and uh, it's got the great lash in it and uh, some other pencils and stuff. I start out with my eyebrows because it's important to have those nice dark eyebrows if you're gonna be like a movie star you just do like so okay. yeah, that's pretty isn't it this pencil here says pencil crayon on it and it don't say for brows or what and so i figure i could use it for other stuff i like to just put my face on before it's time go do a show that way people know which one's the performer and which one's the audience and my mom always said, when you do your lipstick, don't go all the way out to the corners because that makes you look like a hussy. If it doesn't seem even, just draw on more. Just keep drawing on more until it looks about right. I think I look pretty already. What do you think? Okay. So, uh, gosh, my hair sure does look nice. They really do a good job. Down at Pearl's. You know, she's in the trailer right next to the IGA grocery. And it's the sign that says, we curl up and die for you. And that's Pearl's sense of humor. So this one's called a lip liner. And what you do, it's like a mechanical pencil. And you make yourself some points. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut her in after you draw yourself an outline. Just draw the lips on that you wish you had. And then, then you take your lipstick and color it in like it's a crayon bow. Uh, uh. The rest is all just kissing. They don't turn off the film. We're not done yet. Okay, so uh, here's the trick. This seems complicated, but you just look right on the back here and it shows a picture of what you should do get some of that color on there you do the top part here I don't think you have to be too careful about this you just throw it off I say most people think I look like my sister when I don't wear my spectacles do you think I look like polyvinyl well I ain't I'll tell you that much can you see this Dave go real close up on that can you see okay yeah it's got the number one we did the light part and then we see then you do number two, that's the medium part, and uh, get some of that purple color on you. Look, whoops, I forgot which where it goes. Purple goes on the lid. That's funny looking, isn't it? Third time's a charm. On the third one, you go along that crease in your eyelid. That's what makes you look like evening wear. Right there, you do that dark part. Now, I don't know what else I have to do to look pretty. Maybe we'll do a little bit of great lash today. Just look extra good. Even though, frankly, I think I look fine. It gets a little chunky after a couple years in there. But, you know, just give it a shake. It's, it's all right. It doesn't matter too much. You know, here's a trick. You can use baby bottom wipes to clean up little messes. You know, it just sort of blends together and it looks good. Yeah, uh, good. That's the way my mama did she it. She didn't get painted up every day. She wasn't no kind of hussy. But when she did get painted up, you, you go. really got to make the eyes pop when you're a contortionist because people might not notice your face when you're doing all what all with their arms and legs. True match fusion crayon corrector. And so sometimes if I felt like I don't, I need a little bit of a, a lift under the eyes. I put a little of that under there. And then I, I find a clean pinky and I'll rub it in. Now, that's all you got to do. And the next thing you know, you're pretty. So, anyways. There we go. Now we're ready. You know, I still got to hem my capri pants for the show. I'm going to go set up my sewing machine. 